Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karis, for those who are new here. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty washcloth that's seven inches by seven inches using variegated yarn that has different colors in it. And then it's also going to have a little tassel at the top that you can use to hang your washcloth at the end. Now the things that we're going to need are, you want a variegated color yarn, cotton preferably. This one is, I love this cotton yarn, and it is a weight four yarn, and it is 100% cotton. I'm also going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle or a tapestry needle. You'll also need a pair of scissors to, to cut the yarn. Now this is a very easy and simple washcloth design. It does not take very long at all. You can get this done in under an hour. And what we're going to be doing is using what's called the moss stitch or the linen stitch to make this washcloth. So first you wanna start with a slip knot. And in order to make a seven inch long washcloth, we're going to chain 36. If you want to make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, then you wanna chain any even number. So here we are with our chain of 36. And now we're going to start in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. We're going to insert our hook into that fourth chain. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. So we're just going to do a single crochet in that fourth chain. Now chain one, skip this next chain and go onto the next one after that and place a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain Go into the one after that and place a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain, go into the chain after that and place a single crochet. And again, chain one. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way down until we get to the end of our row and I will meet you back here. Now here we are at the end of our row and we have two chains left. So we have our chain one, and now we're just gonna go into this last chain here and place a single crochet. And there's our first row completed. Next, we chain two. We turn our work. We're going to place a single crochet where we put that chain one space. So here you can see that this is the chain one from our previous row. So we're going to insert into that space there, place a single crochet, and then chain one. Go into your next chain one space, which would be right here, place a single crochet, and chain one. The next chain one space, which is right here, go in there, place a single crochet, and chain one. And again, you keep repeating this pattern until the end of the row, and I will meet you back here at the end of the row. Now here we are at the end of our row, and you can see that our single crochet is right here, and then we have this chain two space. This is where we turned it on our first row. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into that space and place a single crochet. And there is the end of our second row and you can see the pattern starting to form here. To start the next row we do just like the last, we chain two, we turn our work and we place a single crochet into that chain one space from the previous row and chain one. Then we go into the next space, place a single crochet and chain one. You keep repeating this pattern until you have enough rows to where your washcloth measures seven inches tall. I will meet you back here at the end of this row just to remind you how you finish off the row. And then I will meet you back when your washcloth is seven inches tall. All right, so here we are at the end of our third row. I have the chain one after the single crochet. And now here is our single crochet from the previous row and we need to go into the chain two space to place our last single crochet. 
You'll have to maneuver it a little bit, but you can see the space is right there. We're just gonna go in there and place a single crochet. And again, to start your next row, you just chain two and turn. Keep repeating this pattern until your washcloth reaches seven inches tall, and I will meet you back here. Okay, so here we are at the end. We've got seven inches wide and seven inches long. So now to finish off this row and add this little tassel to hang it up, what we're going to do is chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we have our chain of eight and we're going to go back into that same stitch and we're going to pull up some yarn and we're just going to make a little slip stitch. So we're going to take that loop and pull it through the loop that's on our hook. So now we have a little tassel created. And what I also like to do is just go into this very next stitch along the side and just do one more slip stitch just to make sure that it's all good and solid. So now what we're going to do is just go ahead and cut that excess, leaving a little bit of tail so that we can sew that in with our darning needle and just pull that through and pull to tighten. So now we have our washcloth here that's got all of its parts on it. Now all we have to do is just take our darning needle and weave in these tails and then the washcloth will be nice and finished. All right, so here we are with our finished washcloth with the tails all tucked in. And as you can see with this moss stitch or this linen stitch, that it really helps those variegated colors in the yarn just pop and look like they really belong. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, definitely make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more as I do come out with more videos every Tuesday. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.